This year we are paying tribute to a man without whom our institute, the Sir Peter Justinov Institute, would not exist. The purpose of the institute is to, to advance research into and to develop strategies against prejudices. Because, according to Peter Ustinov, prejudices are the starting point of many accumulating disasters in this world. On the 16th of April, the great actor, writer, humanist and cosmopolitan Peter Ustinov, Sir Peter, would have celebrated his 100th birthday. On this occasion, I'm speaking with his son, Igor Ustinov, who has been a board member and loyal supporter of our institute for many years. Thank you for that. For me, Peter Ustinov has always been the personification of a global citizen. He was born into a multicultural family in a century characterized by enormous man-made catastrophes. Could you tell us a bit about how the family background and the political developments may have influenced his personal principles and convictions? Well, as you said, it's, it's obvious that it's also because of this complex family we have with uh, roots all over Europe and Russia and North America that now uh, one becomes aware of being a foreigner in, a, in another country. And I think it's also um, this background who, who, who are um, uh, the good, the land for, for being aware of prejudice and the importance they have on uh, conflict resolution history, the way, and also the way they're used. Uh, prejudice is used also to excuse horrible things that you've already done or horrible things you want to do. <laughs> uh, you, you find the excuse in prejudice often. So, of course, uh, going back to 17 years ago now when the Institute was created in Vienna, uh, we were looking for, I remember, this was first in Bud Budapest at the Technical University. The first uh, Yusinov Institute for Prejudice was, was created. Um, they asked my father, who was also chancellor in the University of uh, Durham for 12 years. So he had a, already quite a university standard uh, career. He, they asked him, uh, we would like to make a Yusinov Institute. What would, it, uh, what would it study? Would you have an idea what you want to devote it to? And so it started a bit like a demand. And uh, we all spoke together. There was also a professor, Thomas Druyan, who was there, me and my father. And we tried to see uh, what topic that would be of utmost importance that is not really treated uh, properly. And the, uh, the topic of prejudice uh, arose. Also because uh, I remember I said to my father, I have the feeling that you have been fighting prejudice all your life through your career by um, even your imitations are, are, are also a, a, an ironic way to, to, um, to treat prejudice. And I remember the book he wrote in the 80s called My Russia, and there was six hours television. His goal was to explain Russia to, to, the, to the East or to the West, sorry, and, and vice versa, because there was such a, and there still is a kind of uh, problem, you know, a communication problem or or standard, you just, it's still there somewhere. A lot of people think that uh, the Soviet bloc is still there. So you, you see how important it is to, to, um, to go through with these, with these issues. And so the, the Institute was mu moved from Budapest to, to Vienna. Also thanks to a, a friend who's uh, Fritz Gerhardt who's also, uh, I mean, the father of this, uh, of this institute. So this is how it, it came together. And uh, I remember with Thomas Druyan, we, we organized uh, his, uh, with, with the, the editor uh, uh, in, uh, in Germany, 
for my father to write his book, Achtung Vorurteile. Achtung Vorurteile was one of the first uh, books that I became familiar with, um, apart from having, uh, having seen uh, Peter Ustinov on, uh, on a lot of films. So uh, he has accompanied my life from, uh, from early childhood with, with, uh, with, uh, with quite a few films. And, uh, but apart from, uh, from appreciating him as an extremely versatile artist, I've also been impressed by his humanitarian activities as a goodwill ambassador of UNICEF. Uh, what motivated Sir Peter to dedicate his time to help children worldwide? And has there been a specific trigger for, for, for these activities? Well, my, my, um, one of my father's best friends was um, uh, Leon Davicho, who was, who was the, in a way the, the, the man who had the idea to, to make these ambassadors. Uh, the first am am ambassador of UNICEF was Danny Kay. And then uh, my father got involved and he, he, he was very happy uh, to participate in this uh, because he, he always thought that if he's in a position to, to help uh, and he can do it, uh, it, it's worthwhile. So for 37 years, he was ambassador for UNICEF. And uh, then we created the Sir Peter Eusnoff Foundation Stiftung in, in Germany. And the, the foundation now is 23 years old. So uh, to, it's going to be Peter's 100th anniversary. We can say that 60 years of those 100 years were devoted to try and help, uh, to help others, you know, to help children or to change, uh, uh, change the attitude. Because in a way, uh, one realizes that respect is, uh, is the, be the best way to go uh, in society. When the level of respect, of mutual respect uh, lowers, then uh, the world becomes impossible. So all this organization in a way is to uh, increase the amount of respect in society. It's a very ambitious uh, vision, but, but uh, even a little bit more uh, mutual respect is better than none. Would you agree to, uh, to the concept that uh, creating respect for one another uh, uh, has to be started very early in childhood already uh, yes. to, be, uh, to be fruitful uh, for uh, in the, during the lives uh, uh, during the course of life. I think it's uh, it's essential. Uh, it's it should be one of the basic of education of living in a family together. Uh, the respect of generations in between, a point of view. I think it's it's really important uh, for myself. Uh, where it's the most obvious today is what happened to nature. We haven't respected nature, and it's obvious that today we have a problem with climate. Uh, with it's very obvious with with uh, with nature today, but the same thing in human respect uh, respect in in society is as important, and will come to the same result that we have with nature if we do not have enough respect in society. I couldn't agree more uh, with, uh, with this concept of respect, which, uh, which should not be uh, only dedicated to human beings, but also to, uh, to our environment, to nature. And uh, we, we, we see nowadays uh, where, we, uh, where, we, uh, where we head at if we don't, uh, if we don't uh, develop uh, this, uh, this, this concept further. Uh, Igor, is there a reason why, uh, apart from the geographical uh, proximity of, uh, of Budapest and Vienna, uh, why, uh, why Sir Peter uh, decided to, or went for Vienna as a, as a place for the Institute? Well, <laughs> what, what happened also is, uh, this little institute was in uh, Budapest for th three years, and, and and the problem was also the language. You know, uh, uh, all the scientific work was in Hungarian, and that was 
great limit for the efficiency of the whole process. And it, it happened, you know, it's, it's meeting people too. Um, as I told you, um, uh, Peter had his friend who was Leon Davicho, who was working in UNICEF and invited my father into his charity work. Once he was there, he was really involved, but it's meeting people. It's the same thing that happened here in Vienna with Fritz Gerhardt. We met him. He said, it, it, we'll see if it's possible to, to, to have it in Vienna. And also, in a way, Vienna is really at the center of Europe, uh, from Southern Europe, Northern Europe, uh, Eastern uh, Europe, Western Europe. I think strategically, it's it's um, it's the right place for the institute. It takes more um, me meaning because it's in in Vienna. The function of uh, bridges between the worlds of north, south, east, and west. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and the possibility to spread the ideas. Uh, that's uh, that's a very a very nice concept. Um, Looking at the current situation in Europe, what do you think uh, would be your father's message for us all? Why is it still important to focus on prejudice and combating prejudice? Well, I, it's it come back to, to the idea of mutual respect. I mean, one has to be very careful now uh, because this, this, this feeling of respect in society is 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 lowering a bit. I mean, we've we. I would say since the twin towers, uh, all these the this uh, all these international regulations that were built uh, at as a result of the Second World War, saying we cannot have this happen again, it has a tendency to sort of uh, diminish a bit, and we forget. I think it's important to uh, to to be there and to to demonstrate uh, factually that uh, to take the path of mutual respect is more profitable for everybody than going back into the into the other attitudes of uh, of, of domination. Domination is is uh, on the short term maybe more efficient. But it's 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 a really bad uh, issue because you 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 go into this uh, this this old habits that that have uh, created so many disasters and and such a waste, you know. It's also fighting against discrimination. Also, I'm, I mean, uh, it's all over the place. If you if you're an inventor and you have a fantastic invention for the for the world. And you are born in the wrong place, in the wrong culture. With the wrong, it's wasted. It will never come out. It, it's just an example, but there's there's so many. So uh, institutions that um, that try and reestablish a possibility of of uh, or regulate this lack of respect by showing uh, when it occurs in even in in the press everywhere i think it's very important and to my point of view it should be even more developed the awareness against prejudice we have fake news now we have i mean all these things uh, uh, we need uh, an institute that uh, is a watchdog for these things to show them that uh, we're, we're taking the wrong path. Would you agree that uh, knowledge and, uh, and education is key to, uh, <laughs> uh, to, 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 to uh, slowly uh, build uh, respect and, uh, and diminish uh, prejudice and diminish uh, uh, all the things that we can we can see around uh, today, which have been deteriorated also by the by the pandemic and the uh, the lack of information or false information, fake news around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I I think that um, when you're aware of prejudice, you 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 see it, then you're you can you can uh, be careful about it. 
The problem is a lot of people who have prejudice don't even realize it. They, they have accepted the fact that uh, that a, 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 a false information becomes true because it's normal to have it. And that's the danger. So I think all the efforts we can provide in showing a prejudice it helps because it's it's educating people against it because it's it's very you know that it hides it's not so obvious all the time you're used to it and that's what's dangerous about it also so educate ed educating people to to um, to point it out even our children to to develop their judgment, I think, is one of the most important parts of education. Um, uh, this is a long and tedious process, but um, I, 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 I fully agree with you that uh, we have we, we, we should not we should not uh, get discouraged. We should carry on mm -hmm. uh, with the. Uh, both uh, with scientific work to identify prejudice, to uh, work against prejudice, uh, but also on the on the on the ground uh, in, in uh, to trying to transfer scientific knowledge then in uh, practical terms in uh, in in our work, and um, I think uh, that uh, that the institute uh, is well placed here and is still. Uh, very important uh, that is still doing very important work uh, to, uh, oh. to help in this process of diminishing uh, existing prejudice. Oh, I think it's a, it's a very important it's process. And, and all the efforts we can do to sort of increase the mutual respect in society is, is actually uh, very, very important. It can, it can prevent uh, 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 internal tensions it's it's very important in a way and and you can prove it scientifically you can prove that um, uh, a respectful uh, path to our future is more profitable than uh, than than uh, uh, imposing on others and and creating dislocation and hatred and 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 wounds because prejudice are not on uh, they they leave old wounds you know in 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 cultural wounds in between people and things like that that it takes uh, years and generations to 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 slowly uh, you know release them and and, and so it it's better not to create these things. Thank you. This is, I think, this is a very important message uh, to our followers, and uh, I think uh, it's also a, a, a very, a very good uh, message in the spirit of your father. And uh, in this sense, I thank you a lot for your time. Thank you for uh, for for speaking to me, and. Um, I hope that we will continue our good cooperation in the future. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.